Hello everyone and welcome by the Arcad Saga. My name is Elkin Wiersma and also welcome by this, uh, to this Kerker Lab about the beautiful Lelia Purparada um, on, and on this beautiful sunny day. So, um, yeah, before I'm going to talk about the three Lelia uh, Purparadas that I have, I first would like to mention uh, the other uh, participants for this Kerker Lab. And also I want to thank you, Fernanda, for inviting me to uh, join in on the Scare Collab. And actually, when you sent, my, sent me the email, the first invitation uh, about this Scare Collab, uh, the actual uh, preparator, the first one ever uh, did open this bloom exactly on that day. So that was kind of funny. And I did pre-film it, like we discussed in the video, but I think it's not necessary because it's still blooming. So let's have a closer look at them. And I'm uh, already uh, pointing at this area here, as you can see, because I like to grow mine on this top shelf. So they do get quite some, some light. So that's the first uh, care guide that I can give you. I think they really enjoy uh, quite a high light. I do not give them directly uh, sunlight, but uh, as you can see, they are on top. Well, at least uh, here is one. And let me grab the tag. This is the Alelia Workhouse Rei. This is my last uh, one that I uh, bought of the three. As you can see, I have it now uh, a year in my care. So that's uh, nice. And there goes another tag for another plant. Let me put it in quickly. But here, this one is uh, beautiful growing. Uh, as you can see, it's working on this uh, nice new cane here. And uh, like I said, it's uh, standing on this top shelf here. And the other one normally is one is sitting here, but we will address that uh, one in a second. And the other one is over here. And this is the Purparata variety striata. And that one is uh, living up here. As you can see, pretty close to the roof. So once again, they do get quite some light. Well, I now will take them off so we can have a look, closer look at the, the plants and uh, at some blooms. And there she is with her gorgeous blooms. And she has four of them. And I think you can see these are fairly big blooms in comparison to my hand. And beautiful. Uh, and especially like the lip, the dark red on that very bright purple is really working. We have uh, almost a little bit of pink there, but it's a lot of purple and a, I think the stripes are a dark red. And this is the uh, Lelia Peperata variety Rubra. And this is the first time it blooms for me. It's a fairly large plant, plant but I, um, yeah, I chose to uh, pot it like this <laughs> to get these. I think this new growth was already on there to get it straightened up, something like that. But these are a little bit hanging over. So it does take up a little bit more room than I like, but anyhow. It's uh, happy enough to bloom, so it doesn't matter uh, the plant as much. Um, I think being like this. And so far I have one direction of growth, but I see something green starting there. I'm not sure if that is a, not a new growth as well. And as you can see, I grow this self-watering. I have a water meter here and I uh, use inorganic media. And so far I can see I use quite a lot of uh, pumice here, but I also have some pebbles and some lacquer. So I have a mixture of the both of them on this one, pumice and lacquer. Uh, lacquer I don't use much, but I sometimes have laying uh, around. Uh, and I mean sometimes because then I do a repot on an, uh, on an orchid and I have that lacquer and I clean it again and I still use it of course because it's it's still there but my preferred method is uh, cell watering with pumice and for cattleya types Lelia types I use these fairly big uh, portions of pumice so and next to it is the one we just saw it's the uh, striata let me show it quickly yes striata and it's basically the same story but this one is growing a bit nicer and I tried to get a tag back in somehow it's a bit difficult today <laughs> and it has this beautiful new growth and I must admit I was hoping for a bloom spike or something but nothing uh, is coming out of there it's decided to make a, a new growth which is obviously uh, also welcome but a few blooms 
before uh, growing this new growth was uh, was uh, nice as well but anyhow I'm happy it's uh, it's healthy and I try to because the other one is a little bit too big but for to take it out with one hand but this probably will uh, will work and once again the beautiful pomace there beautiful new roots so yeah this one is uh, doing uh, fine I think it's really enjoying uh, it's alive up in the shelf on uh, on the shelf I should say and this one same story it didn't bloom on this cane and it decided to uh, grow new growth uh, which is obviously fine and this one has some fern in it I have a lot of fern these days since I grow my orchids in a greenhouse but I take them out because I don't want to uh, the ferns there to uh, eat all the fertilizer for the, which is actually for uh, for the orchids of course <laughs> But those two are uh, working on new growths. One is just starting, one is uh, more advanced. And who knows, there might come a sheet out of that uh, new growth. And one is obviously beautiful blooming. Let me check the fragrance. Yes, slightly. It's fairly early in the morning, so maybe it needs a little bit more sunlight. But these are so gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. So what I do is basically with my other orchids in winter, I keep it around 18 degrees at night in my uh, grow, uh, uh, greenhouse and during the day it's uh, well at least 20 degrees, but nowadays it's about uh, 30 uh, degrees and these guys don't mind at all. I've, actually, I think they really like it. So they, uh, especially, yeah, well, of course this one we can see it's uh, blooming, so I think it uh, really likes the, the, the light and the higher temperatures. So in winter they slow down, they still grow, but they slow down. Obviously this one was, um, I think, early winter starting, of late winter I should say. And it's fully matured. But it did take quite a lot of time to um, start growing these buds. I could see the buds already there, but it, it's just, did. it looked like it didn't much, do much. So they, uh, they take some time to, uh, to get uh, these blooms. Uh, the, the buds to bloom, I should say, and uh, but yeah, they are fairly big. But this one, yeah, it it, uh, it it needed some time, but it's worth the wait. Obviously, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that's for winter, and in summer, same story. It's at least 18 degrees at night. Uh, nowadays, it's around 19, 20, and during the day, like I said, it's 30, 30 degrees. And I, in summer, I give my orchids a feed around 100 to up to 150 parts per million. And in winter, I slow it down like up to 50, something like that. Not too much, depending on the weather. If we have beautiful, uh, clear days with uh, sunshine, I may up uh, the feeding level a little bit accordingly. But most times it's around uh, 50 parts per million. And it, as the same with my other orchids, I do not flush these guys, uh, but I do give them the calcium magnesium powder inside the reservoir. I have videos on it if you want to know more about it, uh, but I, um, I do not have the time to flush these pots. So therefore I came up with a sort of uh, customized cell watering system. So if you are interested, I will have a link and you can check it out. It's not hard to grow, I think. If you can uh, give, give it the warmth and the light, you should be able to get it to bloom, depending on um, how, uh, which age you can get the plants. Most of the times they are seedlings, uh, one or two years uh, from blooming, so you may uh, have to have some patience there. And like I said, when, when it starts budding, you still need some patience, but eventually you will get something like this. Just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's, that's basically what I do with my uh, Peperadas. I really, really like them. They're one of my uh, favorites, absolutely. They're beautiful. And one day, obviously, I hope to uh, bloom these guys as well. I think we will uh, be okay. But I, uh, like I said, I have to be a little bit more patient. <laughs> so yeah, this is, my, uh, and this is my care collab. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy the video as well. And of course, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.